Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Rosbrook from the Hospital for Special Surgery and the Limb Lengthening and Complex Reconstruction Service. This is going to be a preoperative patient educational session for uh, limb lengthening and deformity correction using external fixation. And so I'm going to discuss with you, at just like I would discuss with a patient before surgery, the details of the procedure, what they can expect, and try to uh, handle and deal with some typical common questions. We'll also show patient example. So let's discuss the procedure. Deformity correction and limb lengthening with an external fixator takes advantage of the body's ability to regenerate bone. So if a bone has a deformity or if a bone is short, what we can do is cut the bone and bone has the natural ability to gradually grow new bone. While that new bone is growing, we can then gradually change the position of a deformed bone or limb and we can also lengthen it. And we use a external device that looks like this. This is a Taylor spatial frame. It's a circular external fixator and it's just one kind of external fixator that we use. It's the most common one that I use on procedures involving the leg uh, or ankle. But this is, this is um, a very, very common uh, tool that we use for this type of deformity correction. The concept is that we are gradually correcting the deformity while the bone is cut. And so a good analogy, I think, is to think of braces on crooked teeth. Braces will gradually correct the position of a crooked tooth. And what we do is by applying this external fixator to the limb with pins and wires so that it's really stabilized to the limb, um, it allows a gradual deformity correction. So what I'd like to do is show you an example of a patient who has undergone the procedure to get a sense of, um, of what the procedure accomplishes and what it's like. So if you look on my computer screen here, you can see this is a patient who has bow leg deformities, both legs. You can see this big space. These are her x-rays. And what you see here is the line that is drawn from the hip to the ankle runs very much to the inside part of the knee. It doesn't even run through the knee. Normally that uh, runs through the middle of the knee. And what that has done, in addition to creating the look of a bow leg, is that it has overloaded the inside parts of the knees. And so the knees have become arthritic over time with joint space narrowing on the medial side or the inside part of the knees. And so what we did here is using the external fixation approach, I cut the bone below the knee and use the fixator to gradually correct the deformity. On the long x-ray here, you can see that the limbs have been realigned. And clinically, this is the before and this is the after. So you can see a very, very nice correction in the limb alignment. You'll notice very small scars. Um, these are just from the pin sites because this is a very minimally invasive surgery. And you can also see a difference in the knee x-rays from the before situation to the after situation. So you see afterward, what you can notice are the healing of the osteotomies, which are the bone cuts that were done about two inches below the knee. And more importantly, you can see how the realignment has unloaded the inside part of the knee and taken pressure off of the joint. So before it was really bone on bone in this situation, but with the realignment, the pressure has been more normally distributed and so uh, pressure off the inside part of the knee has been relieved. This surgery on a leg, for example, would take approximately one and a half hours. We do it with an epidural anesthetic, which means general anesthesia is not required. The blood loss is minimal and the incisions are tiny. It's really very, very minimally invasive surgery. At the surgery, what I do is I um, apply the fixator to the leg. I cut the bone of the tibia and the fibula through very small incisions, and you can think of it as a partial cut in the bone, not even a really a full cut. It's just enough of a cut in the bone so that the fixator, by um, adjusting these devices, which are called struts, allows a gradual correction of the alignment. Um, the amount of time that it takes to achieve the correction varies depending on uh, how big the deformity is and how large the lengthening need is. But for, let's say, a typical um, deformity correction of a bow leg or a knock knee, it would take about two weeks to achieve full straightening of the leg. 
Once the deformity is completely straightened, the bone it needs to heal in that position, and so the fixator stays on for a total of three months. The patient is allowed to bear weight as tolerated, and then typically you, people are able to come off crutches after about six weeks. So after six weeks, the bone has enough healing that full weight bearing is typically tolerated, and then the fixator comes off when the bone is completely solid at the end of three months. In some situations when we do both sides, the typical way that I'll approach that is a staged bilateral, where I'll do one side first, and then six weeks later, once the first side is strong, I'll go back and do the second side. And in that way, we can get both sides done without the patient ever needing to be in a wheelchair. During the hospitalization of about two to three days, uh, we manage the pain very effectively with patient-controlled analgesia, commonly known as PCA, that's the pain pump. Um, by the time you leave the hospital, you'd be taking oral pain medication, a type of uh, Percocet um, medication is very, very effective. And uh, we try to get people off of the Percocet within, um, within a couple of weeks and just down to something like Tylenol. And that's typically all that is necessary. So we'll make sure to keep you comfortable. Um, and pain is mostly able to be controlled with just an oral analgesic. In some situations, we have to refer a patient to um, a pain management physician, but that's the exception rather than the rule. So I will typically see people um, at two week visit after surgery, and then a second visit about a month after surgery. As I mentioned before, the adjustments are typically done after about two to three weeks. The third visit would be a month later, and at that point, the fixator is, has done its job and the bone is usually healing very nicely, and we are planning a date for the removal, which is typically around three months. The removal surgery is, is done in hospital with just some intravenous sedation provided by the anesthesiologist. It's a rather simple procedure um, and does not require any stay in the hospital. Patients have the entire fixator removed and it's just wrapped with a, uh, with a soft bandage and we usually use a, um, a Velcro type of knee brace as a temporary modality for a week or two. With any kind of orthopedic surgery, and this is no exception, it takes about 6 to 12 months to reach 100% recovery. But um, after about 3 months, you'd be full weight bearing without the fixator and moving along quite nicely. With this particular procedure, pin care is an important part of it because there are external fixation pins that, are, that go through the skin and are used to stabilize the bone. So we teach you how to clean your pin sites. You can take a daily shower, you can swim in a chlorinated pool. Um, we teach you the routine of cleaning the pin sites. It's rather simple. The second important responsibility is adjusting the fixator. So we give you a schedule of exactly how these struts need to be adjusted on a daily basis. And it doesn't take very long, but that's necessary for you to do as a patient because that's what corrects the deformity of the leg. And then finally, physical therapy exercises. Moving the knee, moving the ankle is really important. In many cases, you can do it on your own in the comfort of your own home. We have physical therapy videos and physical therapy handouts that we supply to patients. In some cases, um, organized PT or physical therapy with a therapist will be necessary. Overall, it's a very safe procedure. The results have been excellent. They our uh, deformity corrections have been extremely accurate, even for quite large uh, deformities. The most common uh, complication that we see is really more of a nuisance than a real complication, and that is pin tract infections. And those are just superficial skin infection around the pin site. Um, this is easily treated with a uh, course of oral antibiotics and really does not turn into a serious infection. Um, Real infection, like in the bone or in the joint, is something that is rarely, rarely seen with this procedure. So we're about three and a half weeks out yeah. from the surgery to correct the bow leg deformity. Yeah. And you just completed your adjustments a couple of days ago. Yeah. Okay, good. You started off with a, with a bow leg. Yeah. And so this surgery has, you know, we did the osteotomy to correct the deformity. What I'd like to do is we'll go over a couple of things on the fixator and, and then I'm going to show you your x-rays today okay. and show you how wonderful the realignment looks. You're doing a great job with your pin care. Yes. Yes, really nice. I see that you've been cleaning them and that you've got your um, the rolled gauze around the pin wow. sites. Yes. And uh, how's that been going for you? Great. 
Okay. And then the, there's no more drainage, nothing. It's just dry now, so I'm just keeping on clearing it with the um, peroxide and, and the peroxide. Wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job with that, and I wouldn't change anything. Uh, let's see how you met, you're bending your knee. So straighten out your knee. Good. So that's a good exercise, and really work on on really, really straightening that leg out. Okay. Okay. And then let's bend your knee. Okay. And bend it back as far as you can. Good. You're just getting to about 90 degrees. You don't have to do any more of the adjustments of this of the fixator. Okay. You were doing the adjustments three times a day. Three times a day. Yes. How did that go? Um. Great. I'm looking at your, you know, one of the things I do in addition to looking at the x-rays is really just look at the alignment yes. and, you know, what I can see looking at you is that the bow leg has really been corrected nicely mm -hmm. and we've also corrected some external rotation. Remember okay. how your foot was turned out? Yes, yes. And we turned that in 20 degrees. Great. So that looks really, really much, much better. Mm -hmm. really like the way that looks. Yes. A lot of people do not know that, you know, you do not have to live with this. You do not have to live with this. It's really, this is going to change my life. You can see we drew that line from the hip to the ankle and it went way to the inside part of the knee. And that represented the bow leg, the malalignment that you had. Today's x-ray shows a very different situation. Where we draw our line from hip to ankle and you can see the line is really going through the center of the knee and even just a tiny bit overcorrected, which is what I like to do. Okay. So that alignment looks really, really very nice. Now this, in addition to looking nice, what mm -hmm. this will also do is this will also improve the way force is transmitted across your knee. Mm -hmm. And it's going to protect you from developing arthritis and it's going to make you, it's going to get rid of any pain that you may have had as you were starting to overload the knee. Okay. If I'm walking into a room, I don't have to be like scared people looking at my legs, you know? It, it, especially when you're coming when you're coming somewhere and then people are seeing you coming from afar, like you're not just walking into the room right there. It's a, what people see you and then it represents you, you know? This is your knee. This is the top ring. This is the bottom ring. And this is the osteotomy. That's the bone cut that we made. Okay. And you can see how nice and straight the, uh, the bone looks. Yes. And this bone cut, which we did through a very small incision, is what's going to fill in gradually over time. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You're really doing a great job. Everything's looking perfect. You did a great job. <laughs> really, I love that man, really. Like, I never really thought I could get this fixed. I never thought so. We make a good team. Just, yes.